Sweet, sweet. And we're on our way to Swanage and Dancing Ledge. Dancing Ledge. And here we are, at Dancing Ledge. Look at that. Dear Let's go. Dancing Ledge. You go. How was that? So good, man. Fucking hell. The camera really doesn't do it justice, man. How was it though? See, this is where we're camping tonight. This is literally this woodland, pretty much in uh, Dorset, the middle of nowhere. We've got some awesome food. That's like sausage. How's it taste? Fucking amazing, man. It's really cool. We've got a wicked fire. We've got loads of wood. I guess this is our tent. Okay, we've made a, a sling. So we're just going to launch that piece of cake. Go on, man, when you're ready. Just can't see shit on the camera. Have you seen this way like the fire? I haven't. <laughs> Okay, do you know why? You walk through the bus sometimes and you'll literally see a piece of flint on the floor like that. Not rolling. Do you know where that happened? Because the cavemen use the flint and it's been sat on top of the earth ever since. No, because they're not really being buried down. But do you know why you always find flint on top of the ground? No, because it's lighter than earth. What? <laughs> I'm joking. It's really heavy. I'm joking. <laughs> Say later. Ooh. Ooh. Well, so what wood's that? Uh, it's pine wood. <laughs> oh, you are. Hey, what do you know about pine wood, Callum? Hello, Miz. Tell us more about pine. Can you kill people with it? No, you can't. Uh, I reckon you could. Look at that. That's definitely killer worthy. What you can do with it. It's really good for making <laughs> path for bow drills. I don't know, I know if anybody knows what bow drill is. And what you can do as well is our sort of Aboriginal ancestors. Years and years and years and years and years ago. The Celts? No, no. Wait, way further back than that. The Romans? No, but this is what I'm talking about. What people used to make bow and arrows out of flint and um, wood. Also, like pine needle tea, which I don't personally like. Not very nice. <laughs> pine needle tea sounds shit though. Let's try it. Thanks, Callum. Miz. <laughs> We're gonna make damba. Really, really basic because it doesn't have any ingredients though. So it's literally gonna be raisins, tail freezing flour, water, and then when they're cooked, we've got some golden syrup. Golden syrup. Wicked. Just put a few in there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Tail freezing flour, sugar, a good amount. So we need, yeah, as much as what you want, really. More, 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 more. That looks good. That looks like a good amount to me. Maybe a little bit more. Oh yeah, I thought just a little bit. More. Cool. Yeah, that looks like a good amount to me. What? Like Richard, man, we wish you were here. Yeah. We've had the sickest day. It would be so good to be here. So you've just got to basically mix it all together and knead it. Why do the break out brown hair? Yeah, I'm cool. I'm going to use a spoon. What? Sheath a knife. I'm just going to sheath my knife just in case I fucking hurt. Safety first, obviously. Safety first, kids. <laughs> so your damper together. In a stick frying pan. <laughs> Make sure that whatever you cook it in, it sticks to quite a lot. I think it needs a bit more flour in it. What do you think? I think it needs a little bit more flour. <laughs> don't ever use your hands when you're making when you're making damper. So you don't want to get dirty. <laughs> what does it need, man? The, it just needs a bit more flour. <laughs> so, Cal, what do we do now? We've made the dough. Grab, grab a bit. Grab a bit of dough once you've sanitised your hands. I'm glad you got your hands like really involved with it. Put your dough like your woman. Knead her. Knead her with your hands. I hope you pick up a load of truck. My skin shavings as well. <laughs> grab a bit. Grab a bit of dough. Grab your damper stick. Grab your damper stick. Cal, this is a very nice point. Wrap it around. How would Stretch you? It. How would you describe it? How would you describe like how thick you need it to be? Oh, it's all preference, mate. How do you like yours? I think. <laughs> What's that? You know the thicker the better. <laughs> I don't get it. Neither do I. How was it? Yeah, man, we've had one. This is number two. So How was the first one? First one was good. Oh, man, that's so good. Put in some golden syrup. Oh, God. Rum. Out of ten. Nine and a half. That's pretty good. I'm going to have a go. There's my day bit of damper in that bowl. So now. So we've woken up at um, our camping ground zero number one and it's about 10 o'clock just before I decided I'd set, sleep in the car because this table is too small and the fucking most clammiest, smelliest <laughs> in all the land. Thanks for taking the water. You sit like a baby. Yeah. I know I was moving around quite a lot last night. I started taking up a little room so I'm really sorry. <laughs> yeah. Dear Warnos, into the wild apart from the car. Wasn't the best in the tent last night. It's got a bit hot, clammy, got a bit sweaty. Though. Baked beans and some hard boiled egg, I think, for breakfast. And then we're gonna go catch some fish. So we've uh, come to Swan Swanage, and we're in the bay. We got all our kit ready. And this is Swanage, Swansea. Where are we? Swanage. Swanage Bay. Swanage Bay. Lovely weather. We're gonna go catch us some fish with our rods, paddles, all the gear. We're gonna do some wild camping as long as we can get around the headland. All should be good. Hello! And uh, now we're out in the middle of the sea. We, well, I say we. Callum's just caught two fish. and lost two on his head. One on his mind that we definitely saw. He had another one which was a fucking beast where he got away before he got to the surface. I, on the other hand, have had no bites. Nothing. 
Awesome. Just touched down on Swanage Bay. We're pretty far out. We were that sailing boat in the, uh, in the distance. There's a fish here. Caught two amazing mackerel. Lost yeah. a few. Here's the first one. Look, it's pretty good, pretty good size. This is, is actually not bad size. Got though. some good eyeballs on it. Okay, and this is Callum's second cat. Bit of a beast out. Look at that. That was pretty good. That was fucking massive. All right, so this is how you cut a fish. With his anus, just sat under its chin. Pretty bent cutting there, mate. Pretty what? Bent cutting. That's how I like it. Okay, so this, it this is all that's inside. This is where you find its heart. This is liver and its intestines. Basically, you, you cut all this shit out. <laughs> there should be its heart just under where its gills are. To be fair, though, you cut the head off, so it's not a massive deal. But as long as the asshole and everything. Oh! Hello. Doing being disrespectful to food. Hello, my name's Michael. Like, cut his head off. Uh, yeah, we might need a frying pan just to fill it then. Cut his head. Shh. Hit the head off in a set. You're really keen to hit the head off. I really want to set the head off. Why do you want to decapitate the fish so badly? I don't want to fucking eat it. It's <laughs> dead. I know, it seems really brutal. Not really that brutal. Seek. So we're here, so camp, time for some rum. We're gonna have fish, um, egg, rice. What else are we gonna have? That's it, fish, egg, rice. Oh, and some mackerel fillets. we we got a pretty cool fire, loads of wood. Right next to the beach. Hopefully it won't rain tonight. <coughs> we're on day three of Callum and Swin. A while and a beautiful morning. It's about nine o'clock. Been up for a couple of hours. Tried to do some beach casting. I no fish. Spoke to a fisherman who said that was a waste of time. <laughs> Another beautiful day in our paradise private beach. Shall we? I take it over. Made home. We're gonna go catch some fish. More importantly, I'm gonna catch a fish. Fucking hope so. Hour one. <laughs> hour one. Hour, hour one, day three. Nothing but a few recasts. We need a motor. We need some fish. Oh, that, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, I found it. <laughs> comfortable. For the first time in hours. Signing out. How can you sign out, please? Signing out.